Today we're going to take a look at a pretty tricky combinatorics problem. How many ways can six pieces of pepperoni pizza and three pieces of cheese pizza be allocated to five friends where one friend is a vegetarian? Okay, so they want us, we basically have nine pieces of pizza, right? We have six and three, and they want us to allocate that out to five friends, but one of them can't eat pepperoni, right? Because one is a vegetarian. So that means there's really only four people that could possibly get the pepperoni pizza right and there's five people all of them could potentially get the cheese pizza because that's totally okay so we can handle those two allocations separately so the our first step will be to take care of the allocation of pepperoni pepperoni and our second step will be to take care of the allocation of cheese pizza and we have six of these to allocate right and we have three of these to allocate and of these six they need to be allocated to four people and of these three they need to be allocated to any of five people so if you have some experience with combinatorics or counting methods you probably want to use combinations right but it's not totally clear exactly how we need to choose the groups and how many we're choosing so let's think about it visually I like to draw a picture in these situations so let's think about that first allocation how many ways could you give six pieces of pizza to four people well you could give none to the first and none to the second and none to the third and you could give it all to the fourth person All right, that's one way it's not very fair certainly you could pick any of the other three people to get all of it and none of the other three to get any of it so there's four that look kinda like this I'll just move the six around and then you could split it up kind of evenly. You could do two, 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 and then none for the last person. Or oh, that's not very fair, right? So you, maybe you could do two, two, one, one. But it's going to be hard to come up with a list of every possible way that this could be done. There's going to be an extremely large number. So we want to get a little more creative in how we think about this. Now, something pretty important, even just in listing these out, that's happened is. I put these commas to separate out first person, second person, third person, fourth person. That actually becomes kind of interesting because if you're if you think about these six pieces of pizza as being in a row, let's call them P P P P P P. So there's your six pieces of pizza. Imagine that if you're separating them into four groups what you're basically doing is you're putting three separators in between them so let's suppose I put a separator here a separator here and a separator here by putting those three separators I can think of this as the first group this as the second group this as the third group and this as the fourth group so really what this represents is a scenario where I've broken up, I've allocated the six pieces of pizza as one to the first person, two to the second person, two to the third person, and one to the fourth person. Now of course that's still only one of the many scenarios of ways that I could break this up. But because we've now modeled it in a slightly more visual way, this is going to lead us to a solution that's much more straightforward. So in order to come up with other scenarios that are different from this one we can imagine moving these separators around right suppose I move this separator one over to the right well that would just make the first group have two and the second group would only have one at that point and then I could move this separator right or left and by moving the separators around I come up with different scenarios of the way these six slices could be allocated to four people I could even have situations where the separators are right next to each other imagine something like this P separator separator P separator P now I've used all three separators at this point right P P P what does this represent this represents the situation where the first person gets one the second person gets none because these two separators are side by side uh, the third person gets one and the fourth person gets four and that's yet another scenario 
And because of this, this visual method, some of you are probably starting to see it by now, what we're really doing is not just allocating six pieces, we're arranging nine objects, six pieces of pizza, and three separators or dividers that are breaking those six into four groups. Three dividers makes for four groups. So the method here is to take the number of people that you're allocating to, or the number of groups that you're breaking this many objects into, subtract one from it. So we want to allocate to four people. We're going to establish that there are three dividers. Then you take the number of dividers and you add it to the number of objects that you're allocating. So we're allocating six objects, but we have to add in these three dividers. So we're really, we really have a set of nine objects nine objects. And how many of them are we choosing for our combination? We still want to move in the direction of combinations, right? We're choosing the locations of the separators. We're asking ourselves the question, how many of the nine positions, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, could we put the three separators in? We could put them here, here, and here, or we could put them in any three places in that list of nine objects. And that is represented by nine, whoops, I'll come up here. That is represented by the combination 9C3. We're really asking ourselves how many of these nine objects, how many ways are there to choose three objects from this group of nine? That's telling us the locations of the three separators. And if you need to brush up on combinations, um, We'll, we'll check that out in another video, but um, for those of you that remember, in general, if you have 9C3, nine, nine that equals 9 factorial over 6 factorial, 3 factorial, which is um, the 6 factorial takes out the last 6 multipliers in the 9 factorial, so you get 9 times 8 times 7 over 3 times 2, which is, this is 3, this is 4, that's 12 times 7 is 84. So, there are 84 ways to allocate 6 pieces of pizza to the 4 meat-eating friends. That's just one part of the problem. Now, that takes care of this. This was 84. Now, we want to allocate the 3 pieces of cheese pizza, and anybody could get those. So we have to, we have to open it up to all of the friends and we're going to use the same methodology. If we have five possible friends, that's five groups that we're breaking up three pieces into. So s some people are going to get none, definitely, right? Even if even if we spread them out evenly, you know, it's going to be something like one, 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 and then two people are going to get zero. That's just one possibility, right? But we're going to use the same methodology. If we have five groups, we need four separators. So five minus one is four. So we use four dividers and we want to choose, so we, we take the number of dividers, we add it to how many objects we're allocating, just like we did here. We did 3 plus 6 is 9 objects. Now we're going to have 3 pieces of pizza and 4 dividers. That's 7 objects. How many of those objects are we choosing? Well, we're choosing the locations of the dividers. There's 4 dividers. So we're doing 7C4. And then same definition for what that combination is, that's 7 factorial over 4 factorial, 3 factorial, which becomes 7 times 6 times 5 over 3 times 2, which is 6, and that's 35. So there are 35 ways to allocate the cheese slices to any of the five friends. Now to answer the final question, how many ways can 6 pieces of pepperoni pizza three pieces of cheese pizza be allocated to five friends or one is a vegetarian. The 84 represents the allocation of pepperoni. The 35 represents the allocation of cheese pizza. The total number of ways to allocate all the pizza is the set of any of these with any of these. So for each of these 84 possibilities, match those up with each of these 35 possibilities. This is fundamental counting principle. We multiply. So the total number of ways, total number of ways, and I'm sorry this is a bit cramped now, is going to be 
84 times 35. Let's check that out on a calculator. That is 2,940 ways in total. And that's the final answer.